Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Amanda Farmer and I'm a word gardener. I'm a middle school educator in the Bay Area, California. My YouTube channel is a resource for educators who need a little extra inspiration, especially as we're transitioning to remote instruction for the 2020 to 2021 school year, as opposed to emergency response instruction like I talk about in that video in the iCard. If you want to learn and grow together, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the bell too so that you'll be notified every time I post new content. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm planning on setting up my first Flipgrid for my classes and maybe do a little brainstorming on how I'm going to use this powerful tool throughout the year. I'm starting at a new school in a new district and I'll be teaching sixth graders who might also be starting at a new school in a new district. I have to start my planning as if all of my students don't know one another. Flipgrid is going to provide us a very valuable tool in building classroom community and school culture. The students will get to see one another and hear each other's voices. It's very important that they get to see and hear one another so that they can start getting to know each other at this new school. This way we can start building community for my classes, even if they're not in the same room at the same time this year. So if you're a newbie to Flipgrid like I am, leave a comment below and let me know what your plans are and how you're gonna use the tool this year. And if you're a Flipgrid veteran, please leave a comment below as well and tell us what works and what doesn't work for you. Okay, obligatory voiceover over the screencast that I took showing how I started the sign-up process for Flipgrid. It asks for little information about you, name, last name, country, what grade you teach, and your date of birth. So I put in my date of birth here. You have to make sure that you are logged into the account that you're going to be using for your Flipgrid account. When your account is created, it's going to take you to a page that asks you some questions about your first grid. The grid is the same as the class. So you enter in the name of the class, and then you can use these three options to decide the security on your class, whether it be school email or whether it be public learning community, which is the option I'm going to click here to show you what it looks like. You can see it also gives you the option to add a password, but I'm not going to do that for now. Click next. Okay, so this shows you the first grid. This is my English class. I'm going to use the options here to make it a little bit more interesting. You'll see some of the options we in added in before. And if you scroll down, you see you can make it a hidden class or an active class. You can get different daily, weekly notifications. You can download, etc. This option here allows students to receive notifications when new content is uploaded. Captions over here, you just verify your language. And if you scroll down, you can adjust or customize the header on your Flipgrid for this class. I clicked through, I really like the books, and these little children are so cute, and the mountain, etc., etc., but I really like this girl with the book. So then we scroll down and click on Update Grid. There you can see it has saved my preferences. This Actions drop-down menu lets you add a co-pilot, co-teacher, duplicate your grid if you have multiple classes that are the same subject, and delete your grid. So I'm going to click on Duplicate Grid to make a second class. Okay, so it has made a duplicate class of my first period English class. If I click on the pencil, I can make adjustments to the settings for this class. Let's make it for third period English. You'll notice that all of the settings are the same. If we scroll down, we see everything that I had created in the first class is created in this duplicate class as far as the heading maybe i'll have a different heading i really like these other ones no no i like the girl with the books okay updating there we go so it says english three instead of english one back to my grids now this shows you your grids which are your classes 
got a first period and a third period. Same actions here, same actions there. Okay, if I click on first period English, there is a topic already in here, say hello on Fip Flipgrid. And if I added a new topic, um, let's see. Okay, well, let's try editing this topic. Say hello on Flipgrid. So you can edit all of this text. Uh, if you wanted to add in instructions for a video, you could add them in there. You can adjust the time limit video moderation you would want to click that on so that it makes you approve all of the videos get uh, that get uploaded it gives you a spot for a focus tips to help students answer the topic you could put something in here okay it looks like you only have 64 characters for that. You can add attachments here. Topic status, active versus hidden. Okay, down here are some features for the different videos. This allows students to add an external link. This shows a view count and this would allow students to like. Now those I think are more popularity contests than anything. So I'm going to turn those off. Okay. Provide feedback so the students can offer each other feedback. I do like that. And okay, I can click on update topic to save and then this shows you the details for the topic. This is what the students will see. And then they will click on record a response in order to to record their answer to the question that is asked in the topic. Here's what it looks like to record. You have to give Flipgrid permission to use your camera and audio recording. Here is what my recording looks like. I've put a little smiley face sticker over my face. There are different filters that the students can use. There's this cool pixelated one and then then they click on the little camera in the, oh, you can draw on the screen. Um, and then is previous me going to click on the little camera? Uh, it shows you all the different stuff you can do. And then you can click on the little camera and it's going to record. This is what it looks like when you record. You basically just see yourself recording and shrugging and waving our hands around because we're silly. Okay, so that's done. Then you can replay it. Uh, sorry, you have to click on next first. Oh, silly me. You delete the previous video and start recording the next video. Aha, I forgot to add a sticky note. Make sure to intro, tr intro introduce yourself. Say your favorite animal. Okay, so then once we've got our sticky notes in place to remind us what we want to say, we start the recording again. Then here's the recording. I tried to put a little heart over the heart and you can see I'm very, very talented. All right, so you're going to click on the little pause button to stop the recording and then click on next. Here's where you get to review your recording. You can see what it's going to look like for your classmates and anyone else who's on the grid, like your teacher. Okay, so I think this is good. I'm gonna click on next. Then you do a selfie. So I did a little selfie with my hand up, um, just cause I thought it would look funny. And then you click on next. Then you have to put your display name and the title for your video. You've only got 80 characters for that title, and then your video gets uploaded to the site. If it's moderated, the teacher will have to come through and click to approve that video being posted. Okay, if we go back to my grids, you can see the classes again. This would probably be the hub from which the teachers work. You'll notice when I click on English 3, there is this say hello on Flipgrid, 
but I had made edits to that same Say Hello on Flipgrid on English 1 and not English 3. Even though it's a duplicate of the class, it's not parallel. It doesn't copy all of the same adjustments to the, the class that was a duplicate. It's just like a photocopy. It only photocopies at the beginning. Okay, there are other features here, the Disco Library, the Grid Pals. Um, there's a lot to look at here, and I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time learning all of these features before I can share those with you. But I'm really excited to use this tool with my students this upcoming fall. Okay, before I move on, I do want to show you what... Flipgrid, my class on Flipgrid will look like to one of my students. So the first thing they're going to do is they're going to go to flipgrid.com and they're going to add my class code. So here's my class. If they just went to Flipgrid, they could just enter the class code. I'll show you that in a second, but you can see this is the class that I created. All of the topics would be listed at the bottom. So if they just go to my.flipgrid.com, they can enter a flip code. That's where they would put my class code right there. And it takes you to the same place. So in order to add to this Flipgrid, you have to be logged in. So I put in my login credentials there. I skipped over it for the sake of time and then here I'm going to record a little response to the topic in the Flipgrid. Okay again there's emoji stickers you can use, you can make adjustments, you want to record, review, click on next, gonna do a selfie just like before. Here's where I'm gonna add in the little emoji sticker to show you what that looks like to cover my silly face and there you go. Okay it's going to show you again what it looks like to submit your video and click on complete. Now here it'll say video submitted, but because the instructor has it moderated, I as the instructor will have to approve that video before my students can see it. Okay. I wanted to show you all these features. This is what I'm going to start playing with to prepare for how we're going to be using Flipgrid in the fall with my sixth grade students and eighth grade students. Other teachers at my school use Flipgrid, so I want the students to be ready. Thanks for watching all the way through to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. If you found this little, little, if you found this little, <laughs> if you found this video to be informative, inspirational, or at least a little entertaining, please give it a thumbs up below and maybe share with some of your teacher friends who might also find it inspirational, informative, or at least a little entertaining. Or at least a little entertaining. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you're working on with your classes. Are you using Flipgrid? Or do you have some other tech tool that you're planning on using? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to tend your garden, and I'll catch you in the next video. We're done. We're done. Hot tea.